Barely a week after the Amani Congress leader, Musalia Mudavadi, made it public that he is ready to support Moses Wetangula's candidature for president on a court ticket. The former vice president shared a platform with court leader Raila Odinga at a court to prayer meeting ahead of Labor Day celebration. Though the two never talked of any intention to team up, leaders from Western Kenya who attended the prayers quoted Mudavadi to stop being a Lone Ranger and join the opposition to unseat the Ghibli coalition. Hata kama muko na chama tofauti, simameni sawa sawa, nendeni mkasimame huko, chukuweni wengine ambao tuko nao kwa kodi, chukua eh, wetangula, chukua amina eh, eh, kalonzo, chukua amina wale wote dini muko pamoja. Ili muweze kutusaidia. The two leaders, however, focused more on independent electoral and boundaries commission, insisting that the current commissioners cannot be trusted to superintend the 2017 general elections, a position supported by the labor movement. Hakuna ambaye anafurahia na rifari ambaye tukonae tunaelekea kwenda nae 2017 kwa uchaguzi katika taifahi. We don't want to repeat what EC did. Right now. So IBC must go home, must have a referee in which we all have confidence. I support the churches, I support Honor Braila, and we consulted with workers yesterday. The IEBC must be reconstituted. There is no way out if you want peaceful elections next year. Raila challenged the government to initiate a national dialogue and reconciliation before the next general elections, saying compensation cannot equate national healing. This country requires reconciliation. This country requires a cry for justice. People must reconcile. And reconciliation does not mean paying people money. The fight for our generation must be to unite our people, to fight tribalism and to fight corruption. The two also took on the government of frustrating workers' unions by using the courts to subvert their operations. <laughs> Court to Secretary General Francis Atoli used the prayers to call on the government to hike the minimum wage by 40%. Channel 1 News Weekend, I'm Brenda Zedderidido.